In this video, I'm gonna show you a really effective play for beating any kind of quick blitz, or also it's just really good for beating zone, man, anything. Uh, the play is bench pivot out of the bunch formation. I'm gonna show it to you uh, specifically against a couple different zone coverages that are really popular, and then we'll dive into how to use it to uh, beat the blitz as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. It's free to subscribe. Also, if you wanna get my entire Washington offensive ebook, we actually cover more than just bunch in this. We cover um, gun and compression, we cover bunch open tight end, and uh, we're working on maybe adding a empty uh, five wide section as well to it. Make sure you're in the Patreon, you get access to all the ebooks and all the updates to those ebooks um, as well as long as you're a member. So again, 10 bucks gets you access to everything. And uh, the play is bench pivot. Now bench pivot I think is super underrated this year. Literally the only setup is you're just going to streak the slot receiver. Now, if they are in off coverage, this becomes a really, really powerful concept. And the reason is because this little speed out, if you put short and elite on that player, it is really, really effective at beating man coverage. So again, I'll show you this guy. Slotomatic is also effective, um, you know, but again, I really like short and elite. Short and elite is the most important route running ability that you can have. Um, because you can put it on several different receivers, right? Slotomatic is like four AP, but short and elite, you can you know use it to kind of cook man to man. Now, another thing that I want to dive into with this is let's say that they do press you. So if they press you out of man coverage, this sometimes still beats them. But if it doesn't, then you want to look to your tight end. Now, your tight end, if you have short and elite, it actually will get pretty decent separation against man now my tight end is not the best tight end in the world uh, but you will see here like right on that cut you see how i can get that to him i gotta ag that um but right on that cut i can get that ball to him now again if you have short and elite i find that this is still pretty effective now we're going to come back to how to beat it in just a second uh, with something else we can do but this little natural rub of the formation you see that right there that little animation you get that a lot with this route especially like i said the better route running better um the better player like a parham with short and elite on him um, who's relatively affordable at this stage and mutt um you know you could do something like that okay now if you ever have issue with this play um what you want to do is on the back side of this you want to look to your dig so if you get man right off the rip Throw your in route around the cut. You want to throw that right on the cut, ideally, so that no yellow zone um, is able to get over there and play it. Now, if we're really struggling with man out of this play, um, another thing that you can do if you think it's man is you can slant uh, Chris Godwin instead of streaking him. So it's still a quick snap play, uh, but now you have a slant. Man, Sean Murphy Buntley is playing his face off um, but now you have a slant route so you know again something like this and you see there now i'm getting screamed at by levante david but you see the guys you know he's wide open on the crosser here there's just a little little shallow crosser to kind of go with this play and again i don't know why um i don't know why the 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 uh three rec hook more people don't use it because i think it's really underrated against uh in, in coverage but anyway um you can also throw that dig late so as you see right there it's going to cut across uh and you can do something like that okay so i'm not too worried about man to man honestly with this um you know if you wanted to beat man you might want to use a different play if you if you really think it's man but just by slanting got jones here and again if i have a little better receiver it creates this kind of natural pick and rub and i'll show you how to throw this off of the off of the cut a little better so like let's say you are facing man and it's just straight man across the board what you'll notice is you can actually throw this right here right off the snap and you can get a couple quick cheap yards um, as well so you know again there's something else with this but the main thing that we're looking for with this is um, the ability to beat zone quick to the flat so this little quick out is really good if you free form outside pass lead this thing is going to really be a great little read for you against zone. Now that's cover three. The, I'm gonna show you a cover three hard flat. So if they hard flat out of cover three, you're gonna basically try to, again, you're just trying to free form it outside. So essentially you're trying to lead the ball where the defender's not. So the defender's inside here. So I'm getting the ball way out here and it's hard for them to animate and be able to make a play on it. So, you know, they're gonna have enough 
problem stopping the quick out to the flat, but if they are able to stop the quick out to the flat, now you have this little route to Rudolph, uh, which is wide open. Now, this play, I will say, especially this year I've noticed, this play actually does work a little better to the short side. Um, and the main reason why is because of what you just saw. So, like, if it's cover three and they're playing hard flats here, you'll see I can still throw this, but it does have a little more potential to get picked from that perspective. But the other perspective is, again, if they hard flat out of cover three, a lot of people, what they like to do is they love to man the slot up. So they would do something like that defense. And what you'll see is this tight end will be just wide open. So literally just boom, right in this little alley. And it's such a good little route. It, it, most people just don't expect bench pivot, right? They're looking for a corner route from Godwin or they're looking for a corner route from Jones. Now we can do something like this and it makes it you know that much more effective from a, from a zone perspective, okay? Now, with match coverage, um, I'll show you something else you can do with this play. You can um, you can actually run this against match because you can throw it, again, right in this little alleyway right here. So before the match defenders can react, you can actually still call this and have a pretty good, um, a pretty good chance at, at defeating match. Another thing you could do against match is you can throw this quick out to Chris Godwin. Another thing that you're probably seeing here against match that's really interesting, um, you know, is again, we'll just press our match coverage. And sometimes what will happen is they, because we run the short side, sometimes this tight end will actually be open. It wasn't open right there. But sometimes with this route to, um, with this route to Godwin, you could do something like this against match. So you still have kind of a speed out cut that you could hit, but now, oh, it's press coverage. And you saw right there another little piece of this, and this is against a dollar match that's a little different than a, a traditional match coverage. The dollar match coverage is cover six. So if you want to, if you're playing dollar and you want to motion this guy out, your uh, slot receiver a lot of times will be wide open. So as you see right there, we're able to bomb match coverage with this concept um, specifically against cover six, okay? Now, if it is a, let's say that they deep half, so they call match and they deep half to kind of help this out a little bit. What you'll notice just by this basic motion out piece, now my tight end, you'll see right here, is open over the top of the match coverage, right? So really, really effective for breaking down that. Now, the best way for them to stop this speed out cut is to go to cover two, uh, but sometimes that doesn't even guard it, to be honest. Um, you know, it's just such a tricky route to defend, it really is. And that's one of the reasons why this play is so effective. So, you know, they go to cover two, they shade underneath, here they guard it, but now look who's wide open. Your tight end's open late in the play. So the tight end route is a multi-window route, which you can use to beat a lot of defenses. Yeah. I want to spend a few minutes talking about the blitz, specifically zone blitzes. So if you're getting a lot of DB fire too, right, you know, maybe they kind of do this, they sit down here like so, and they want to run their blitz. Well, we have the running back blocking, uh, so, you know, we can set up any protection scheme. And then the other thing is, if you look here, you've got this quick read, right? So that forces them into a specific coverage adjustment that most people probably don't want to do. Right, they're going to have to be baseline press hard flats, or there's something they're going to have to, you know, bring to the table here on this. So as they do that, then now um, my seam streak's wide open over the middle. Well, okay, so now we got to defend the seam streak. We got to defend the corner rod to the slot. There's just a lot to guard in this play, which is another reason why this is so good. So now we do an adjustment like this. Um, you know, and if you wanted to drag your backside guy, you could just a little quicker hitting route against the blitz. But now my tight end's wide open, kind of like on the verticals, if you will, kind of that wheel, kind of that little pivot wheel um, that he's doing there. So now I'm able to beat, you know, all of this stuff. And so as a user, uh, they basically have to, 
do something to this extent. They have to kind of continue to come over here and they have to continue to help out over here, right? So they're really going to overextend themselves, especially if they're blitzing you, which is where this backside slant or backside in route or whatever you want to do on the backside here is really valuable because now he's wide open over the middle. So this is such a quick hitting play. It's really effective against the zone blitzes. So if you want to learn the rest of the Washington offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. $10 gets you access to literally everything over there, including all the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks while your membership's active. Thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.